I've been walking in the forest and following cow paths, which at best are unreliable. They go this way and that way and don't really lead to anywhere. So I wondered if um, I was going to be able to find my way out, which made me start to think about perspective and how we see things so differently on the way in as we do on the way out. And this is what I wrote. Consider perspective. Consider street view versus satellite view. The way in versus the way out. Freedom versus loneliness. Consider stand by versus stand down. Age versus wisdom. Depression or sadness. How often in a debate does one view shift to the other? No, one wins with a better argument. It is decided, judged, that one perspective then is correct. Maybe I have too much Libra in my astrological chart, or perhaps all through my childhood and into adulthood, I've been convinced that my lens on events, relationships, and fact is skewed, blurred, unfocused, that I'm easily shown to my seat, the correct one, not the one that fit my bum so sweetly. And there I was in April 1976 in the wrong seat, which turned out to be the right seat, Berlin, my love. Leonard, who could have foretold that the world's love affair with you would only deepen over the next 40 years, and you were drinking hard from breakfast on through to that first European concert because you believed your star had fallen that was your perspective, while the rest of Europe saw it quite differently. In this moment, crisp, dry leaves clatter through branches. In the near distance, the constant drone of vehicles on the road to the south. A furry black squirrel forages through deadfall, hesitates, rises on its haunches to study me. Perhaps its perspective shifts from seeing me as predator to not much at all. Winter green has sprung its bright red berries. It could be decay or rest. It depends. Traffic noise might intrude or soothe or fade away to not much at all. What I'm trying to say is that all things exist and what we pin on them matters very little to what they actually are, good or evil, pure or tainted. So today I choose contentment as my perspective. That I sit on a smooth rock in a green gold forest, pine needles and drying ferns, a tiny spider circumnavigating this page, is simply this. And I take some pleasure in it. I expect pleasure, so that's how I adjust my lens. The sun has drifted away, but my body is comfortable here. There is so much to mourn, but so much to celebrate. I've come to celebrate and hopefully find my way out. Wish me luck. <laughs>